Welcome back to the channel. I am Daniel. I'm an exercise enthusiast and I am going to demonstrate for you my catalog of timed static contraction exercises for the lower body. This is a bench I got at adjustable bench at Sports Authority when I worked there many years ago. Not too many. It fit me really well as far as size, as far as the width on my back when I'm doing pressing exercises. <clears throat> so I, I just liked it. So you can kind of see it's pretty typical of uh, how most of them work. Um, it goes all the way up to there. I get a lot of use of this. For this part, we're going to use one form for forklift. And I'm going to show you how I loop it to make it secure. <clears throat> I'm going to use the lower part of it. Loop it on the bottom. You can go around different ways. Oh, wait a minute. There's another part of this I have to do first. This is a brace that I got. This is from, it's an elbow pad from the chin-up bars they, they usually come with. I'm going to use this to arrest a reactionary force, and it's going to be used for hip flexion. You'll say that part next. This goes around here. I've experimented with different positions, and for now, this seems to work the best. I just have to go straight out. I want to stay straight on with that as I can. I'm going to start with leg extension. Back this up a little bit. These have turned out to surprisingly be very effective. I cannot walk well after working these exercises. Let's use this leg, left leg. You can use pillow. I tried many things. This is just as good as anything else at the moment. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to make sure that my leg is centered and I'll show you that in a moment. Pull back so that my heel is there. It's a little awkward to get in. But it works. And a piece of pool foam, I'll show you that in a moment. Ideally, you want to position a little bit back, about right here. So 30 seconds effort, 50%. 30 seconds of almost as hard as you can effort. And 30 seconds as hard as you dare. As hard as you dare. And that's the key phrase. There's leg extension, and the other side is just simply everything in reverse. Let me show you it straight on. Now, I don't usually move around awkwardly like this when I'm working out because it stays put, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Do my pillow. It's got the nice welcoming pineapple. Let's line up with the pineapple. But you see, the distance there, I want my leg right in the center. I don't want it off to the sides at all. I want it right in the center. And I don't want it to be here where, like that. It, it feels weird on the knee joint. So what I found is I want to be pretty much right where the knee bends. Same thing here. So what I found to do, you have to kind of loosen up. Or just keep the positioning loose until it settles. And you'll kind of, it'll, yeah, you'll, you can kind of see probably better than what I'm doing. Now that goes on. And then there, can you see everything? Come on, don't tell me you closed. 
Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, I just want to make sure you all can see it. So there's what that looks like. All right, leg curl. And I have recently started using this brace for this exercise. Use my right leg. I have been doing these one at a time partially because, I mean, unilaterally, one leg at a time. Uh, partially because it's convenient and partially because I'm able to produce more effort unilaterally at the moment without passing out. Uh, I'm currently being treated for prostate cancer. So I have to. Uh, the medicine I'm on, even doing time static contraction, I can get gray pretty quick. Anyway, so you can see the position of the back. This is the brace for the leg. Let's try it right there. Now on this one, you don't have to get it perfectly lined up. I'm just right here. Brace usually works good enough. So I'm trying to pull, I'm digging my heel into the yoga block. The pad here is arresting the reactionary force. Uh, when I was doing this before, I'll show you what it looked like before this. If I can get out. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was doing it without that before. It worked just fine, but it feels more like you're doing a reverse squat with one leg, doing it that way. That brace arrests the reactionary force, and that helped. So that is leg extension and leg curl. And I went on ahead and I didn't show the... It was not my best intention. And then I use it for this, again, one leg at a time. This one I do try to line up, so I'm shifted a little, little bit over on the seat. And hip flexion. I'm not happy with this one exactly because I want the weight of the leg zeroed out. So I prefer to be on my back and the leg anyway. Um, I've tried it with a seat up. It's, uh, it's uncomfortable on my back. That position right there does not bother my back when I do hip flexion. There we go. So those are my lower body positions, lower body exercises with this tool. Okay, this is my desk. This is the underside of my desk. I'm going to show you how I do Internal and external hip rotation. AB and adduction. Ab and adduction will come later. Where's the. Co so I'm going to drop the seat. I want my. These little pole things. I want my ankles. Where's my other. Oh no. Ah, there it is. Um, I want my ankles to be lined up there. So I'm going to put. The other box there, that is the br that is going to arrest the force going out. These arrest the force going in. This is for external hip rotation. 30. So I lift, I loosen the grip of the, this might be better with socks actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Um, you want to be pushing in with the knees a little bit of adduction here and out with the heels or ankles. 30 seconds, 50% effort. 30 seconds, almost as hard as I can. 30 seconds, find my dare. And that's what I'm doing right now is finding my dare. I will work with my dare later. So the next part is for the internal rotation. You just reverse the positions on this one 
you want to make sure that the knees are about like right there. Get those even. Here we go. On this one, there's going to be a little bit of abduction, abduction. So there's some crossovers, and I don't do them on the same day. All right. Here we go. This is pressing the ankles in and knees out. 30 seconds as hard as 50% effort. 30 seconds hard as come almost as hard as I can. And 30 seconds as hard as I dare. Bind my dare. Okay, there's that one. So for hip adduction, I prefer to be on my back. And I use three blocks for run. I have it going from the knee down the inside of the shin or calves that way. And I try to keep the rest of my entire body relaxed um, here. Uh, the only thing that is involved is my inner thighs, my adduction muscles, and up through Magnus. Some people say they like doing a crunch at the same time. I don't like that. Um, I think it actually takes away from both the crunch and the adduction. And to get up, just turn over on your side to get up. Did that stop it? It did not. So this is my version of AB duction, abduction, hip abduction. I was struggling with the uh, the strap one because I was getting some hip spasming after it. So I decided to try this one, and it works just as well. And I try to sit on the edge of the seat. So. You can even use uh, other kinds of seats. Your hands here, just relax. I suggest keeping the toes straight ahead or in line with the knees. You can do them however, whatever's comfortable. 30 seconds, 50% effort. 30 seconds, almost as hard as you dare. And 30 seconds, as hard as you dare. Or find your dare. Abduction. So this is your typical average doorway, I guess. This is the widest door in the house. Easiest way to show you this is to use pillows. Again, a lot of I got a vacuum. Sorry about that. Okay, that's on me. Um, the vacuumer. Damn. Yes, I've been a little. Not very diligent. So this is going to be my left leg. The hardest part of this exercise is getting up and down. So I want the back of my pelvis on this side, on the door frame on this side, and my foot and heel here. You can do the foot straight. This makes you not use it as much. And I suggest pushing up just a little bit to shift the hips back and relaxing the arms and just kind of letting your body be where it is. And 30 seconds, 50% effort, 30 seconds, almost as hard as you can, and fit 30 seconds as hard as you dare. So you can, even doing a, just a tiny bit of effort, this is a difficult this, this is probably one of the hardest leg presses I've ever done. It is very, very, it is very hard to get up after it, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and end it now. Afterthoughts of uh, all the catalog exercises. First of all, I don't suggest this is how you should do these exercises. Um, I'm, they're how you could do if you want to. Um, they're not uh, exactly how you should do them. Ideally, you want to do most exercises unilaterally. No, bilaterally, both both legs, both arms at the same time. Um, for the convenience, 
and to make what I to be able to do what I want to do. Um, and also, it's a little easier for me to give that much effort uh, one limit at a time. Um, I, I can it opens up a little more tools for me uh, with static exercise. Um, I don't suggest doing that with um, dynamic exercise. Uh, keep keep loaded evenly. Um, with dynamic exercise, it's a little safer if you make the right decisions. Uh, to, to have a good idea of how to come up with ideas like this and um, how to put these together as a um, organization of, of exercises and how to uh, position yourself, how to position everything else. Um, on Drew's site, Drew Bay's website, uh, bay.com, B-A-Y-E.com, um, on his forum, he has a section about exercise selection, criteria for exercise selection, a series of videos on that, um, and then a series of videos on uh, criteria for exercise, no, considerations for exercise machine design. Um, I, if you understand the uh, foundation, the framework of how these things work, it all starts with function dictates design that it's just start there function dictates design and you'll you'll be okay if you go that way so that's kind of where i start those from i've said before that i think um, uh, people sh should be doing two sets frequently um, i still believe that as far as dynamic work um, not uh, um, if you have an instructor with the right equipment with exercises and able full effort, you don't really need to. But most dynamic exercises just don't do that. They don't, they have too many compromises. Uh, and I, I still think two sets on those. Um, with time static contraction, oh, you don't need it. The one more, more than enough, you're good to go. Um, I don't, I really don't think volume training is possible with time static contraction. Um, I, I would be interested to see a research project about it, but I don't think, I'm popping my knuckles, sorry. I don't think that would look good. I don't think it would feel, I don't think it could be done. I think that would have a quick fallout, uh, or I mean a quick uh, dropout rate in that research. So as my thoughts on time static contraction and um, on the next video, I am gonna show you how I use a TV stand for rotator cuff uh, internal and external rotation. Thanks. Uh.